Well, welcome to Unruly Guides. In this video, I'm going to show you how you take your formatted Word file, put it into Amazon's KDP program, extract the HTML, and then add the coding, the HTML coding required to pull in the book cover. So first we start with your Word file. Now I already have it formatted here. Each of the chapter headings are H1 tags and the rest is body copy. I've also put in manual or page breaks, which is you put your cursor in front of the chapter and you go into insert, break, and page break. And that's what you want to do. So once you have this, now we want to upload it to the KDP program. To go to the KDP program, you have to register with Amazon.com. And once you've registered, you will come to a page that looks like this when you log in. Now you can add a new title or you can edit one title that you have here. When you add a new title, which we'll go ahead and do here, it bring you, brings you to a page you have to fill in the content information. But what we want to do is we actually want to scroll down to um, section 5, upload your book file. Now you notice I can't browse for the book yet, and that's because you have to choose your digital rights management. So choose Do Not Enable Digital Rights Management. You can change that later, but for now we're just going to set it that way because Kindle will code it when they convert it. So now we want to browse for your book, and it brings it up. And what we've done is we saved it in our DIY formatting kit, and we've called it My Doc, My Book Doc. Now you notice that, and I'm going to go ahead and upload it here. Kindle is specific on formats it will take. It will not take a docx file. It has to be doc. And so you can save your docx file as a doc file. It's called a compatible file. It will take PDF files. That is not recommended because they do have some coding errors. So we wait for it to um, finish converting. And you can see that it's saying here that it's converting the book file to Kindle format. And that means that's what it does for everything that you upload, whether it be an EPUB file, a text file, or in our case, a Word doc. So you see now that it has been uploaded and converted successfully. But now we want to preview it, and you always want to preview your files. So you click Preview, and as it downloads, you see that there's a link at the top that says Download, H download HTML. You want to click that, and you're going to save it. Now it's named whatever I named my book, which is new title one zip. And I'm going to save the file, and I'm going to save it to the same format as my DIY formatting kit. So now we want to extract the zip file, and that's usually just double clicking it, and it will extract to an HTML file. Now you want to open that HTML file in your text editor. So you open up your text editor program, and go open. And then you scroll to where the document is, which is right here, if you want to see it. And you can see you have a lot of strange coding. Now what we're going to do is scroll down until you see where it says body text equals quote pound 0000. That pound 0000 means black text. We're looking for the body tag. So at the end of the bracket, you put your um, cursor and hit the return several times so you can see some spaces there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some code, and it will be on the Unruly Guide site. And what this does is it's going to pull in the image to the page. So you hit bracket, and then IMG for image. Then you need to put the source, SRC equals quote. And then you put the name of the image, and I always call it cover JPEG. Close quote, and then you're going to put an alt tag, ALT equals quote, and you can just put cover, close quote, then put a space, a forward slash, which is below the question mark, and a close bracket. Now we need to put a page break in there to break the cover from the other pages, and that's bracket MBP colon, then page break. And then you can put forward slash and close bracket. And now all you have to do is save that, zip with your image, and re-upload. And that'll be in video two. So go there now. 